soaring into our Saturdays now is the new Host Maximus Eagle Raid, which looks totally sick. Fire Eagle. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, so I am starting out with Group Shield here. <clears throat> Thank you to the Valhalla Rising Alliance for uh, inviting me to this raid, actually. So let's see here. Uh, minion, level 29 Irritator. Ooh. And uh, 29 Doty. Let's see here. Man, that ego looks really cool. I actually want to see his animations here. So let's see, Group Taunting Shield. And let's see. Eagle is a... Oh, Fearless Flap. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Who else? Oh, oh gosh, he's actually soaring in. <laughs> okay. This is going to be some cool animations here. They could do so much with this. Wow. I bet you Gandalf is really proud of this eagle. Okay, increased attack on a resilient and a cunning creature. I'm not sure how effective that actually is in the grand scheme of raids here. Um, but, well, I guess we'll see because they have nothing in, they have a resilient, a cunning, and I guess Irritator is technically a fierce creature with no attack. So really, we could just use resilience, like we have using three of them, and actually do very, very well. Uh, group accelerating, oh. Was that supposed to take out Irritator? Boy, that's irritating. Rocket alert counter. Interesting. So cleanse reduction, increased speed. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, so now I'm going to be doing the resilient rampage. Uh, group shield, accelerating, uh, group power from Irritator. Oh gosh, okay. I have to keep up here. Alright, so we're going to shield. So, Mortem is going to take out the minions before they can do anything reckless with their attacks. Group. Yeah, so this actually doesn't seem like too hard of a raid, just at the looks of it. Just, ooh, the critical hit. <laughs> uh, just because there doesn't seem to be a lot of disruption from the minions or the host eagle. Very interesting. Very interesting with this one. And oh, here comes a. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Who would have thought I'd get excited over birds? <laughs> wow, that's so cool. Okay. Resilient Rampage. Deal with Raja. Alright, so let's see. This is supposedly a nine turn strat. From the what they sent me was from the Alliance testing the fences by HKK. So thank you for quickly finding this strat. Also, Four Yelps has miraculously made like a dozen strategies. So here we're gonna do instant invincibility shield. Has made a dozen. Uh, Four Yelps has made a dozen of the strategies for this raid that I am actually really excited to test out and see how many of them would work because the, he's implemented things like the Mono the Rhino and Spoonosaurus, which I am so happy uh, to be get some variety in some of these raids so other players can join in that also are being used in PvP, which is what I always try to do when I advise my team to build creatures, is build something that will help with raids and uh, PvP and, well, tournaments as much as I can. Let's see here, small attack from Gemini, and what is it, Evasive Rampage from Host Eagle? I'm going to call it Host Eagle this time, it's, <laughs> it's Host Maximus. Clint, man, that's such a cool, is that his counter? I can't remember now. Evasive Rampage. Oh, that's such a cool animation. <laughs> I know where the thumbnail is going to be coming from. A little slap in the face there. All right, bird brain. Oh, oh, the quills on like the back of his head flare up too. Oh, that's so cool. That is such a smug thing to do. All right, group taunting shield for me here. Wow. Okay. So let's see here. Shield, shield, group attack, group attack. All right. So group acceleration here from the Tura Moloch. 
Yeah, I don't see them actually doing a lot of damage in this race, so this is actually a solid strat to start with. I bet you will find something very much quicker later on as time goes on. Especially when Foryops gets more uh, practice with this raid. He'll come up with something. Alright, so group attack there. And I actually don't remember how much attack the Gemini has. So is it going to be a repeat? Uh, 4,600, so yeah, he's not going to take out Irritator this time. Nope. So, both minions do not need to be taken out, so Rocket Alert! Cleanse speed reduction, increase speed, increase critical chance. Man, that would be devastating in PvP. Which, actually, I have not checked the moves for it. Uh, let's see if I... Well, while I'm raiding, I know. Very uh, smart of me here to do this while I'm raiding. I want to look up his move set for PvP here. All right, so we're gonna do resilient rampage here. Uh, let's see, because that counter is sick, or whatever it is. If it's not a count, I don't know what it is. If it's like whenever he's touched. Alright, so obstruction to flight is the move. Self, cleanse, increase speed 10%, uh, increase critical, critical hit chance by 25%. Uh, target swap prevent. Oh, so it's when the opponent swaps out. Or is it when he swaps? Target escaping. Swap prevent. Yeah, so it's when the opponent swaps out. Wow! Interesting. But still, this thing is like a sucker to resilient creatures because he has no immunity to speed reduction. Ah, so this is just a really, really cool firebird. <laughs> Especially when he's in his uh, critical chance is increased, he looks like he's on fire. All right, so Dio Raja, boom. All right, so that was turn two of round two. So we got one more round here. Rocket alert. Oh, that's so cool. Increase speed, increase critical, critical hit chance. Which if you don't have the creatures actually for this raid, this would be really hard to beat on your own. So we're gonna do instant invincibility taunt here. I'm gonna take his, ooh, what is that attack? That's new. Group acceleration. Okay, yeah, he's gonna be dead. Deado for sure. -o. Kinda has the colors of a churro. <laughs> Alright, instant invincibility taunt here. So what is this attack? I'm curious. Ravenous Rampage. Uh, removes cloak. Does it remove shield? No, it does not remove shield. Ooh. That would have been the icing on the cake. That would have made it spectacular if that could have gone through shields. Wait, I know. I just now realized we have three cunning apexes and only one fierce, two resilient. Is Sarah Magnus considered a resilient? I think he is. Interesting, why so many cunning apexes for raids when cunning class is not actually the best? I'm genuinely curious now. Ludia, why? <laughs> I am so curious. Alright, so now round three. Uh, we're going to start with group taunting shield here. Yeah, I, I just had to look it up. Sarah Magnus is a resilient creature, so why only one fierce? Interesting. I wonder if there's going to be any mixed apexes in the future, or if we could fuse the two apexes together. Oh, a critical hit! Are you kidding me right meow? That actually did a lot of damage for my shield being up and something not going through shield. <laughs> With 30% armor, that did a lot of damage. But hey, it survived. Boom. Rocket alert. 
Okay. Like, is this chest glowing? That'd be so cool. Like, if he was flying at night and you could look up and just see, like, the glowing chest. The wingspan. Clouding the stars. Oh, man, that would be just... Sick and terrifying, too, because that's a big bird. That would that would put people in the food chain. And... Oh! How much attack does he have? Is this supposed to happen? Oh! Retaliate. We do not accept that. <laughs> okay, so a level 28 unboosted Dioraja is good for this, so we're going to do now Resilient Rampage here. Is good to survive this even with a crit on uh, round three, turn one. Or round two, turn three. I already figured what turn it is. <laughs> this is why it's hard to record and raid at the same time. Alright, so group heal here. 1600, so I got 1800. I hope that's actually able to survive this. Oh, a critical hit again here from Mordum. Oof. This eagle's not having a good time. Might lose a few feathers over this. Alright, so resilient strike here. Eight, about 18, yeah, 1800. And then my attack. Okay, so we cannot end it one turn early. We're gonna have to go one more turn unless Dioraja gets like a super critical hit here. And come on. Get a crit. You got a crit? No! Oh, not enough. <laughs> That's okay. I was uh, I was hoping for a miracle there. Interesting, okay. So increase speed. Da, 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 all that fancy stuff. So now, one more turn. Now uh, we're going to do Resilient Strike. And... Invincibility Shield, just in case something goes terribly wrong in the last turn here. It's not uncommon. Well, I mean, it's not unheard of. That's what I meant to say. And... Rocket Alert here, so he's going to shield, so... Okay, Mortem is going to beat this bird here. What would a fuse between Mortem and like Hadros look like? Or Mortem and uh, Sarah? That would... Ooh! I could see... Wow! I could just see that. Mortem and Sarah fusing together to make it look like a Thor. Wow! And Haas goes down. <laughs> That's actually a really cool animation. Alright, so thank you again to Valhalla Rising for inviting me to this really early raid. So now, let's get right to the incubator. What? No, it's not. Okay, it expired because we won. Alright, so... Uh, 1900 Velociraptor, 166 Doty, and 25 Host Maximus! Wow, that looks cool. <laughs> Success. But if you enjoyed the video, guys, click on that subscribe button so you never miss an upload, and I'll see you next time. Bye!